Hey guys, and for those of you who are using a Phantom 4, um, I'm going to do the uh, latest firmware update, which I believe is uh, 2.0.700. Um, that may be the wrong number, but I will update and do the correct number. So the number is going to be checked on. <clears throat> so what I'm going to use is going to use my iMac, and uh, I'm going to uh, effectively launch the uh, Assist Two. So this is the latest Assist application, and uh, you need to install the latest Assist application from DJI's own website, and this will uh, include all the the right parts to it. Uh, and I'm going to record the screen now. So if you give me a second. Okay. So now I'm recording. On QuickTime, uh, you'll be able to see the screen. So the uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is to uh, connect a USB cable. This is the DJI cable uh, with the uh, mini USB connection on the end of it. Uh, start your drone. The drone has um, the Phantom 4 has already been charged. It's got a full battery on it. They recommend 50% of the battery. So you'll see the drone come to life. Doing his auto tests. Let me plug that in. So straight away, I've got uh, a an update request on this one, so I'm just going to ignore the update on that one. Um, there's the latest software, uh, which is uh, currently yeah, uh, version 0 0.2.00.0700, .00 and uh, it was updated on the 24th of the 1st, uh, 2018. Uh, so let me uh, hit update on that one. Uh, the whole process should take about 15 minutes, so let's start. So we now are doing the download. So it's uh, it's doing the download as we speak. Um, I will leave it running so you can sort of see how long this takes for the download to actually take the uh, the update, and maybe you'll see the difference in the way the uh, the lights are flashing as well on the uh, P4. So I'm accelerating the video here to show you the uh, download uh, that I'm getting from the DJI website. It will get to 100% and then unfortunately the uh, upload onto the aircraft fails to perform. I had this problem before with the, uh, the Phantom 4 uh, when I first got it and uh, I figured out a solution which I'll show later. So we're at 100% download now. It's now transmitting the upload to the aircraft. Uh, and I've got an upload error failure. So this has not worked. Um, I had this error before with uh, the, uh, the Phantom not actually accepting the, uh, the firmware. So I'm now going to retry uh, to actually see if I can uh, get the, the update to uh, uh, to rework with it again. So another accelerated set of footage of the attempts that I'm trying to use the Assist 2 software version 1.2 to download the software again and then to allow it to update the uh, the aircraft. Each time the uh, the update comes down uh, then the uh, software being pushed to the Phantom fails so I try to do factory resets and press uh, various uh, options. In the end, I decide to uh, actually allow it uh, to upload the log file to DGI in the hope that DGA may send me some information. Um, to date, I've not received anything from DGI relating to this, so I went to uh, look on the web to see if I could find a solution for myself. And uh, I have, and in the next section, you'll see what uh, that is, and I'll describe how I got it to operate. This next section, I will show you the uh, the fix. So the fix is actually to download the Assistant 2 software, not from the Phantom download pages, but actually from a Mavic download page, and the link is later on in the in the video itself. 
And by using this software and reinstalling, actually removing the original Assist 2, which was version 2.1.20, uh, uh, and reinstalling a new version of it, which was 1.2.2, and rerunning the installation process and download again, as you can see here. This actually allowed the, uh, the aircraft to accept the update, and then you will see the update goes through its uh, process, and it will achieve 100% in the configuration itself. And just to uh, verify that uh, it's actually downloaded correctly, and the aircraft is operating correctly, in the next section you'll see uh, a short video uh, where I have the aircraft, um, the radio control uh, connected up to the tablet um, and, uh, and, and now I actually sort of show you some of the screenshots. So here I'm uh, taking you through uh, the setup so the uh, radio control is uh, switched on. Um, as you can see here uh, it's now connected to the iPad and the iPad is showing me a video feed from the aircraft itself which then shows to me that uh, that there is actually good communication between the aircraft and the radio control and there are no problems with the uh, video transmission speed uh, because we're inside the house um, i only have three satellites locked at this moment on the aircraft but all other information from the aircraft uh, appears to be correct uh, the settings i can adjust i can look at uh, the, the camera uh, i can obviously adjust the camera itself and uh, at this moment in time, I'm satisfied that uh, on a ground inspection that the aircraft is operating correctly. So just to remind everyone, the uh, software that uh, was able to support this uh, download correctly was the Assistant 2 version 1.2.2. And this is for the Mac and running on my iMac. And this is the uh, URL from uh, DGI where you can actually find it from the Mavic Air. Uh, and from this page, you can then uh, get uh, the correct software and, and install it on your Mac. And hopefully this will then resolve uh, any update problems that you might have or experience something similar. Uh, if this video was helpful, please subscribe and like my channel.